Hi there, welcome to Morley Farms and we're just in a field of sugar beet here and we're trying to uh, control the weeds mechanically rather than spraying them. Um, so we're very grateful to Ernest Oza Wyndham and Steckerty, which is part of Lemkin, who have lent us the tractor and the hoe. Uh, what's special about this hoe is it's got a little camera on it and it follows the rows. The operator just simply drives up the row uh, freestyle and the hoe adjusts itself to follow the rows exactly or that's what we're led to believe. Uh, it's not always perfect and it takes a little bit of setting up. As you can see, there's a few little weeds here. So this crop had had a pre-emergent herbicide and two post-emergent, but there's two tram lines we're in now. We didn't put the third application on. And so there's some fat hens, there's some pansies in front of me, there's some bindweed. There's just sort of come through the herbicide program uh, when we look elsewhere where there's, it has a full programme of herbicide, uh, there's no weeds at all. Um, so it's definitely worth doing the last herbicide and they've just sort of, weeds have come through. So let's see if we, the alternative is use the hoe and see if that will can take them out completely. So we've just had a few issues here where the camera couldn't quite recognise the rows. Um, so the controller in the cab can be linked remotely, wirelessly, can, remotely to the dealer. So we spoke to Adrian and he logged in and he made some changes to the settings and uh, we're all ready to go home. But actually he changed the settings and it's working really well now. Uh, it didn't damage any sugar beet. Um, so we've just sort of finished the area we wanted to do. One of our observations is that the hoe's quite heavy, sticks out the back of the tractor a bit. Um, so you need a reasonable sized tractor to, to lift it and to handle it properly, which is fine. But then we're trying to go through the crop with narrow wheels and you really, you really want a tractor that's a lot lighter. In all fairness, the hoe that we've got here is uh, just a demonstration unit. So maybe if we were going to buy one, we'd specify it a bit different to make it a bit lighter. Um, it's all, all things are possible. One thing about the Steckerty hoe is that uh, there's lots of different options of attachment, hose, blades, rakes, all kinds of tines, different things that you can fit to it. So it's about tailoring it to uh, the situation that you've got. I think though, overall, the place where you would use it is where you've got diff difficult to control weeds. So maybe blackgrass, ryegrass, uh, maybe some knotgrass that you might have on heavy land. Where there's a situation where herbicides don't work very well, I think hoeing has really got a, is an opportunity. But if you've got relatively clean fields, um, probably spraying is the answer.